Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Monday is always always the most difficult day because it's the first day of a week. Are you feeling tired? I feel tired after today's work. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have to go through uh, modules uh, of knowledge yesterday and uh, also we uh, I'm gonna cover some uh, core modules about Node.js. So let's first talk about the modules. Uh, <coughs> module, what is module? Module, you can consider module as uh, uh, JavaScript libraries. It just uh, contains a set of functions, a collection of functions, so you can use in your own application. And uh, uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about the history. Like before year six, there is uh, no module. So all our JavaScript is written in a very giant like um, uh, file, right? And uh, another thing is uh, uh, for this kind of giant file, it's really hard to maintain and uh, it's not modularized. Uh, it become longer and longer. And when your system get very, very, very big, you cannot just using one file to contain all the logic there. And another thing is uh, um, before ES6, <coughs> Oh, sorry, uh, not before year six. And another thing is, uh, in JavaScript, there's no pu public or private those accessor we can, which can make uh, your uh, function or method or variable to be private or to be public. So before year six, we have something called the ify, immediate uh, invoked function e E immediate invoked function uh, e invocation if I remember correctly okay or some call a uh, module pattern and uh, we're just uh, using something like this right let's uh, let's go and show <coughs> let's like uh, like this way and it has two ways to do that Before ES6, a function will create a scope, right? A function not based on this uh, print, uh, brace, curly brace to create. So when I create a function, this is gonna create a scope. So whatever inside this function will be private. So outside the function, no one can access that. But if I using something called the module, and here I have a return statement. So whatever I returned here, it's gonna be public because outside the function, the module can represent whatever returned. So in this case, we have a pattern which can mimic other language like Java or C Sharp, which they have a private variable and a public variable. And in this pattern, it's called a revealing module pattern. Okay. But it's still not good. So some uh, some like organization come with the common JS module specification and provide a way to provide an easy way to create a module. And with a, mo a common JS module specification, one JS file. So what one JS file is a module. Suppose we have a how about uh, here is greeting. In this greeting file, we have a function here. F, we'll talk about more, okay? And uh, here is just a console.log, uh, um, hello. Okay. <clears throat> a common JS, one JS file define a module. Then how can I expose this function so other uh, JS file, other, other part in your application can use? Suppose here is a main.js. 
and I want to use the f this function in the greeting. How to do that? To expose your functionality, okay? To be using module dot exports. Then you can using f. Okay, you are you expose this F. So then how can I get this F here? You can just using a keyword called a require. And the require we will talk about more like here is a greeting dot js. Okay, and then you can call F. So this is the common JS, uh, the syntax. Don't you worry, we will talk about it more and more. So uh, besides common JS, there are also other uh, module specification like uh, the AMD and uh, required JS is the implementation of AMD, but I don't have uh, uh, experience on both of them. And the last one, if we learn JavaScript, we already know, like we uh, in JavaScript, it also has um, native support for uh, module. Now it's using the keyword import and export, right? So uh, this video just to have a brief short introduction on um, modules in Node.js and we will have other videos to cover more details. So thank you for watching this video. See you next one. Bye-bye.